Hello everyone and welcome to Automotive History through Diecast. I'd like to take a moment and please ask you to like and subscribe. I also would like to thank you guys. I really appreciate all the comments on the last video. Um, pretty much you guys were saying it's not me, it's you. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, but a lot of people did say they watch my videos. They just uh, usually are doing them while they're doing something else or they don't have time to comment. And I can appreciate that. I, I don't comment as much as I probably should, too. Um, but I do appreciate you guys. I want you to know that. Uh, so today is Free It Friday. We're starting with this um, Hot Wheels West Coast Custom Lamborghini. <clears throat> and this nice purple. So we have a couple different brands. I'm just going to open and show. Next is this 7-Eleven Viper. Nice 7-Eleven colors. And then I also have the 7-Eleven um, Corvette. I've been seeing more and more people posting. They've been finding more and more stuff at 7-Eleven. <clears throat> I really like this one. I always like this uh, Deco. This uh, Ram Charger Deco. Next we have this Ford GT. And a nice yellow with the black hood. Black hood's a nice accent. <clears throat> the recolor of the Pontiac Aztec. Um, <clears throat> fun fact, this was named the ugliest car ever by um, Road and Track. Uh, quite a accomplishment for GM. Um, and not to be mean, but the customers who would bring them in were a little unique. Another beautiful Pagani. Uh, you know I like the uh, Paganis, especially the Zonda. Here is the um, drift truck. Uh, I don't know if everyone knows by now, but this is a real vehicle. This is a, a drift vehicle. It's based off, a, I believe, um, an S10 pickup, some kind of Chevy pickup. But yeah, this one's in like a camel green. Here is the new Cadillac race car, the recolor. I like this one better than the all black. Here is the plastic Corvette. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it is a very iconic looking car. And then we have the Ford race fan. Uh, like I said, I think this is super cool. I love the original Ford race fan. Um, this one's electric. It really hauls. It's quite a quick vehicle and handles very well. The original had a uh, Ford GT motor in it. I usually don't get this casting, this Jaguar, but I really liked the color on this. Uh, the color and wheels just look perfect together. It really cold to me when I was going through the pegs. Next we have the um, 73 Jeep. Kind of weird how it has that stance with the, the fronts higher in the back, but uh, I think it's a cool casting, cool off-road, especially in K&N. Here's the Toyota Tacoma. Not a fan of the dirty wheels, but I uh, am a fan of the truck. Matter of fact, I think the last one that came with dirty wheels, I swapped them and I thought it looked a lot better. This one's pretty neat. I like race cars, so this one's cool with this Mazda Deco.
Another race car is this Lotus. It's cool to see how simple cars started out and how they really didn't know about stuff like aerodynamics and stuff. So like this car would have, like now would have a wing to help it with downforce where back then it didn't. Next is the police version of the RX-7. It was in white last time, I believe. Now we have it in black. And we have the uh, Koenigsegg in purple. Um, I've seen one of these in real life and Hot Wheels is close, but there's a lot more flair to it than this. And then the last car I have for Free of Friday, which I heard had come out already, probably slightly different, I'm not sure, but I didn't have one. So here is the Acura NSX. Alright, I appreciate you stopping by. Please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.